What's good everybody, it's BBK Dragoon here, and before we get into it, a quick channel update. So yesterday I took a pretty nasty fall on my mountain bike. I'll leave a link in the description below to the full crash video. It's a pretty good slam and I didn't want to throw it in your face if you didn't want to see it. So I had no broken bones, got the x-rays and we're good there, but I can't even use the right hand to click the mouse at this point. So I'm mentioning this to you. I am going to keep uploads going throughout this week, but if the editing seems a little bit more raw, it's because <laughs> I'm literally doing everything with my left hand at this point. So just be patient with me and hopefully I'll be able to start using a mouse again here pretty soon and, and heal up quickly. All right, let's jump into this video of the five things I'm most excited about for Destiny 2. Right off the bat, you have to say this is all speculation. We don't really have hardly any confirmed facts about Destiny 2, other than the fact that our characters are the only thing moving forward. It's going to be a fresh start. And these are just my hopes, my speculations, okay? You guys might have your own. This is purely subjective. Let's jump into it, though. Number one, PC. I am so, so excited about Destiny 2 coming to PC. Jason Schreier is the guy who broke this rumor. This is the dude from Kotaku who has basically been Nostradamus for Destiny. He has inside sources, and his rumors have essentially come true over and over and over again. Even though he's never had, like, a giant list of Bungie individuals who are feeding him this info because that would ruin it. They probably would never leak stuff to him ever again. He's had almost a perfect track record with all of his predictions on these rumors. And Destiny 2 coming to PC at this point almost seems like an assumed idea by the community. The reason I'm so excited about it is because it's going to bring an entirely new audience into Destiny. I have a lot of PC friends that want to try this game. They're like, yeah, that looks really fun, but I'm not going to buy a console for that. Additionally, for me, I am way more comfortable on mouse and keyboard than I am controller, which may sound funny because you guys have probably subbed to the channel for Destiny or Halo over the last few years, which are both controller based games. But yeah, I grew up playing games like early, early Rainbow Six titles, some of those Desert Storm games, Unreal Tournament 2003, 2004, and I love shooters on PC, the level of control that you get. And overall, it's just gonna make a bigger population for Destiny, and that's a good thing for us as a player base. Number two, the sense of discovery. I don't know about you, but for me, a huge part of year one was that feeling of mystery. You didn't know how big the fishbowl you were in was was it wow that's hard to say you basically didn't know how big the world was you didn't know what the game was about and you got to discover a lot of things new mechanics the raids all that stuff whereas the last year and a half since the taken king every player is very aware of how small this fishbowl is and we keep running up against the glass while yelling to bungie please i want a bigger universe i want to just explore something that is so cool and so unique. If you guys played in the beta, sound off in the comments because when they opened up the moon for that afternoon, that was the exact sense of, sense of discovery I'm talking about where you just wanted to explore and your mind went racing as you went down into the Hellmouth going, oh my gosh, this is gonna be the most insane game ever. What do they have down here, a Rancor? All right, number three, leaving everything behind. This one is a contention point for some. So the only thing that's carrying forward into Destiny 2 is your character. We might see some emblems carry forward and they did say they will commemorate year one players or Destiny 1 players. But I am so excited that they're getting a fresh slate because let's face it, Destiny 1 has a lot of balance errors. There are items, there are mechanics, there are issues with this game that inherently cannot be solved unless they get the opportunity to leave some of these things behind. Doesn't mean that they won't resurrect some of the very popular weapons and some of the iconic abilities, but I am so thrilled that they are going to get a, a blank slate, a do-over essentially, and, and it's like, what would you change if you got to do Destiny 1 all over again? Number four for me is the promise of more content. So in the Activision's earnings calls, they happen every quarter. It's for the investors to hear what's going on with Activision. Eric Hirschberg, the CEO of Activision, has said multiple times, we are very aware of the community's demand and desire for more content. And we're going to give Bungie the resources they need in order to supply regular content to us. That is something Destiny 1, I don't think anybody can argue, has always had a lack of content and always lacked that good element that investment games have, which is the ability to play day after day, week after week with things to work towards and new content coming down the pipeline. And that is something I'm so thrilled about. I want to see more updates. I want to see more DLCs. I don't know how they'll handle it if it's like a season pass or, or what they're going to do if it's going to just be like Taken King style updates every year. I just want to see three, four raids a year, 
Okay, I want to see new multiplayer maps being added every few months. New story content pushing the grand narrative of Destiny further along. And I think we're going to see that with Destiny 2. That's a big part of why they did a fresh start, I think. Number five, raids. Raids are the best part of Destiny, hands down, in my opinion. That is the most impressive, unique element about Destiny that no other shooter has even come close to replicating or duplicating. The amount of just teamwork and finesse required on some of these raids is so cool. And I want to see what they can do adding more raids into the game more regularly. If it's just one raid a year, I'm going to be freaking upset. I'm going to be very, very sad. But I don't think that's the way it's going to be. We're going to get a raid, I'm hoping. And it's going to have multi-tiers. And it's going to be like four to five weeks of hardcore raiding for the top tier clans to beat the highest difficulty. Maybe that's a pipe dream. I'm not totally sure. But those are my top five things that I'm excited about regarding Destiny 2. I'd love to hear what you guys think down in the comments section below. Thanks for watching this video. We'll see you later this week. Adios.